Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel and for all my new subscribers, lots and lots of love. I'm Natalia Suri and I do everything related to books, from author interviews, book reviews, book recommendations, plus my session with the witches, tantrics and the voodoo practitioners, which I really, really love. This video is very special because I am working on my thriller and this video goes out for every aspiring writer out there who is working on his book. Now to be honest, I've done those courses of creative writing but the truth is if you haven't read these books, you really really will find the journey very rocky. So my five book recommendations for aspiring writers are these. The first one is by the king of writing, Stephen King. The title of the book is On Writing. Now Stephen King is called the king of horror. Why am I advising you this book? It's, he has done it, he has seen it. It's a wonderful book. It will give you an insight about his life and his struggles. Where does he get his inspiration of writing from? You know that he started his writing by writing for newspapers. Not, not the newspapers which we read, but the newspapers of his school. That is how his journey of writing started. There's another wonderful advice in this book that you must know the end of your novel. Without knowing the end of the novel, you can't really drive that car. Where would you go without knowing the destination? So this is a must read for every writer out there. Plus his advice on the number of words you should uh, target every day. Plus how should you make a writing routine which is very very important. It's a point on which many writers fail because they cannot take out time every day to work on their novel. It's like a step-by-step -step process. So if you can't write every day, you will never be able to finish that novel. My second book advice is how to write dazzling dialogues and improve your manuscript by James Cotman. You cannot talk like a computer and you can neither talk like a school syllabus. Now just imagine all your characters having the same voice. Everybody does not speak in the same way. Some use metaphors, some use similes, some use other types of words as well. So every character has a different voice. This is a must read if you want to work on your dialogues and without dialogue you cannot have a story. So this is a very very important book and, and every aspiring writer should read it. My third book advice is Plot and Structure, again by James Scott Bell. You must know your plot and your structure. That is very important. From whose point of view are you telling that story? You know, sometimes what happens is that we mix up all points of point of views. We mix up that entire plot. We have started from A, but we have again landed on A rather than going on Z. So this book is really, really going to help you. It has got a lot of exercises. It even helps you with your characters. It gives exercises on those characters. So this is an important book for every art writer out there to understand especially the voices and from whose point of view you are trying to tell that novel. It will clarify a lot of doubts. So this is my third recommendation. My fourth recommendation is Bird by Bird by Annie Lemay. You know, we all hate grammar. If I tell you that you have to study Ren and Martin, you will probably just switch off that video. I agree to that. Even I would have done the same thing. But with Bird by Bird by Annie Lemon, it's a wonderful book. You know, you cannot write dialogues without those inverted commas and those apostrophes. Where do you put it? Where do you put those commas? Where to put those full stop? She has done it in a way that you will not even come to know and you would by the end of the book be an expert on how to put them. So this is a must read as well. My last book recommendation is the Writer Brain Workbook. Now why do I recommend this book? It gives you a lot of exercises to write every day. Now what I do before I write is I just write like an exercise. What, what do I mean by this? That I just write whatever comes to my mind 5 to 10 minutes and I call it the warm-up exercises. So this book has got unending 
prompts for you to choose from now what happens sometimes we have a subplot and we really never know that subplot may be the main plot of your next story how do you get that idea so this book has got 365 exercises one for each day even if you dedicate 10 minutes to that exercise i'm sure you will get some idea for your current work or your next book which you which might be in the pipeline so yeah these are my book recommendations and yes before i go as usual i need to remind you of my blog www.nataliasubi.com my recent article which i have posted is on nepotism now how do i define nepotism nepotism according to me is a chair made by a rich dad according to the ass measurement of a son or daughter so yes this is my new article which i have posted in do check it out on my blog www.nataliasubi.com where kangana ranaut and sushant singh rajput have a connection i'm not going to tell you more about it you need to check my blog for that and yes do tune in in my next video which i will be posting in very very soon to take care of yourself and keep smiling you know the reason why because you look beautiful when you smile see you soon with lots and lots of love take care bye